For this third grade small group, you're going to review multiples of 2 and 5 and then focus on multiples of 10. So as you review multiples of 2 and 5, be sure to write it out so that they can see. Um, what do we remember about multiples of 2? They're always even. And for them to be even, that means that in the ones place, they always have a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. What do we remember about fives? Well, in the ones place, they always have a zero or a five. Could a number have a um, be a multiple of two and a multiple of five? Yeah, it could have a zero in the ones place, which would mean that it's also a multiple of two. Today, they're gonna focus on multiples of 10. So with their tens, that's gonna be in blue. And same thing as before multiples of 10. We're going to go through and label them and talk through what patterns we notice. So as we count by tens, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. What do you notice about all of the multiples of 10? What do you notice about the ones place? They all have a zero in the ones place. Now here's a question for them. Can a number be a multiple of 10 five, and two all at the same time. Yeah, actually, any time a, num a um, number is a multiple of 10, it is always even because of that zero in the ones place. So any multiple of 10 is always a multiple of two. And because of that zero in the ones place, it is always also a multiple of five. So if a number is a multiple of 10, it always is a multiple of two or five. They might, that might not click for them yet, but then as they start to roll, have that conversation. Two times what? Five times what? And talk through what are the digits in the ones place. So again, you can list it where they could see it even on this sheet that a five has a zero or a five in the ones place, that a two has a zero, two, four, six, or eight in the ones place. But we're really today focused on as they're rolling those numbers, the connection between the different multiples. So as we roll, let's say that our first number that we rolled was a 72. Is 72 a multiple of 10? It's not. Why not? The digit in the ones place isn't a zero, it's a two. Now we can ask that question though now, is it a multiple of two? Yes, because a digit in the ones place is a two. Is it a multiple of five? No, there's not a zero or five in the ones place. Um, then roll again. This time we got a 42. Is it a multiple of 10? No. Why? Because the digit in the ones place is a two, not a zero. And they keep going. Let's say this time they actually did roll a 90, so a 90 with a zero. They would color that blue, and then you could talk through. It's a multiple of 10 because there's a zero in the ones place. Is it a multiple of five? Yes, because of that zero in the ones place. And that's also why it is a multiple of two. So having that conversation as much as you can, having them use the words digit in the ones place is really, really powerful. That's it for today. Keep rolling and having them record as many as they can.